हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन और इज रिलेटेड टू द वन मोर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी टेक्निक एंड द टाइटल इज एल ई आई एस द लॉन्ग फॉर्म ऑफ दिस एल ई आई एस टेक्निक इज लेजर एनहांस्ड आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी लेजर एनहांस्ड आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एल ई आई एस इन वन ऑफ द आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट आर आई एस दैट इज रेजोनेंस आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ओके सो दीज टू टेक्निक्स दीज टू स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी टेक्निक्स आर वेरी सिमिलर टू इच अदर ओके द ओनली डिफरेंस इन आर आई एस एंड एल ए आई एस इज दैट इन रिस्ट टेक्निक वी आर यूजिंग ओनली लेजर्स फॉर बोथ पर्पजेस दैट इज फॉर द एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द एटम्स एंड आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ द एटम्स फ्रॉम द एक्साइटेस्टेड टू आयोनिक फॉर्म ओके सो फॉर दिस पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग द लेजर्स ओनली बट इन एल ई आई एस टेक्निक एल ई आई एस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी द डिफरेंस इज दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग सेकेंड लेजर और द सेम लेजर विथ डबल फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इन वी आर यूज इन रेस टेक्निक यर इन लेजर एनहांस्ड आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वी आर यूजिंग ए फ्लेम वी आर यूजिंग फ्लेम फॉर द एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द एटम सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑलवेज सेम दैट इज द सॉरी फॉर द आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ द एटम्स वी आर यूजिंग फ्लेम फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑलवेज सेम इन बोथ द केसेस दैट इज द एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द एटम ओके एंड वंस द एटम्स आर एक्साइटेड फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड स्टेट टू द हायर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एनर्जी लेवल हायर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एनर्जी स्टेट द एक्साइटेड एटम्स आर फर्दर आयोनाइज बाय एब्सॉर्बिंग सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम द फ्लेम ओके यर वी आर नॉट यूजिंग लेजर फ्रिक्वेंसी और लेजर वेव लेंथ फॉर द आयोनाइजेशन ऑट आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ एटम्स सो दिस इज द मेजर एंड बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रेजोनट आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड लेजर आयोनाइजेशन लेजर एनहांस्ड आयोनाइजेशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ओके बोथ दिस टेक्निक्स आर यूजफुल फॉर द अल्ट्रा ट्रेस एनालिसिस ऑफ द एनालाइट सैम्पल्स ओके सो दिस टेक्निक इज गिविंग अस वेरी एनालिसिस ऑफ द सैम्पल्स हैविंग वेरी लेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओके सो दैट्स वाई this technique has a wide scope in its applications let us see here the principle of this uh, laser enhanced ionization spectroscopy okay so as we i already told you that this technique is using lasers okay and uh, after laser we are using flame so leis technique uses flame for the ionization for the atomization of the sample and analyte sample into the ionic form okay so the flame use use of flame is most important okay so leis technique is using flame for the atomization or ionization of the sample analyte sample okay and in the first step lasers are used laser light laser radiations are used to excite the ground state atoms to the higher electronic energy level okay higher electronic state okay and once the atoms are in the excited state the further atomization or further ionization of that excited atoms has been done by absorbing radiations by absorbing heat energy from the flame itself from the flame itself okay so this is the major difference and this is the point of uh, uh, point to be noted that in the principle we have to mention that the atomization or ionization of this analyte sample is done with the help of heat energy which is absorbed from the flame okay once the atoms excited atoms are converted into ions that is positively charged cations and electrons then these ions and electrons are attracted towards the 
oppositely charged electrodes okay so two electrodes have been using here okay in the instrumentation part the two electrodes are using one is negatively charged cathode and another is positively charged anode and to these two towards these two electrodes the oppositely charged chemical species that is ions cations and electrons are attracted okay so two parallel plates across the burner flame have been applied okay so once in the flame region in the flame region once the atomization has been takes place ionization has been takes place okay into positively charged ions and electrons these chemical species that is ions and electrons are attracted towards the electrodes and these electrodes are placed parallel from the either side of this flame okay so if this is the flame if this red color is red color pen is the flame okay and this is the position of uh, your uh, electrodes okay they are positioned or placed parallel to each other across the or uh, behind uh, on either side of this flame okay so as soon as the atomization or ionization takes place they are attracted towards the respective electrodes means that positively charged electrode will be attracted towards the cathode no doubt and electrons will be attracted towards the anode okay and once the uh, attraction has been takes place the further uh, we know that further uh, process is done by the uh, detector amplifier and readout devices that is optical system electronic part okay uh, so our point of discussion here is up to this okay so how this is the main principle of working principle of laser enhanced ionization spectroscopy now the next point of discussion is the working or operation or theory behind this leis okay so as we have discussed about the res that is resonant ionization spectroscopy the leis technique has also some mechanisms in which energy transformation or energy changes has been taken place in the analyzed sample okay so here four mechanisms have been described here four mechanisms have been described and these four mechanisms are different from each other in respect of how the analyzed sample has been uh, absorbing energy from the laser radiations as well as from the flame to do different uh, things or to do to operate uh, to give different fates in that uh, instrumentation okay so this is the mechanism first here it is shown so the, this line is indicating this is the ground state of all analyzed sample okay and one two three four these are the four different mechanisms that are possible to occur that are possible to happen in that instrumentation okay so what is the first mechanism here the excitation this is the first excited state or higher electronic energy level from the ground state this is the ground state okay so once the energy is absorbed from the laser this is laser so we are ir irradiating the sample by laser and this laser radiations are absorbed by our sample so our analyzed sample is absorbing uh, analysis atoms of analyzed sample absorbing laser radiations and they are get excited from the ground state to the first excited state or higher electronic energy state okay so once this state once this happened then the further ionization of that excited atoms has been taken place with the help of heat energy from the flame okay so here the this is called as the uh, sub step or the steps involved in the mechanism first is uh, resonant laser excitation why it is called as laser <coughs> sorry why it is called as laser uh, resonant excitation or resonant laser excitation because the excitation of the atoms takes place from the ground state to higher electronic state so that's why it is called resonant laser excitation okay so mechanism first is involving two steps resonant laser excitation and second one is thermal ionization second one is thermal ionization means the energy is absorbed from the flame itself thermal ionization okay 
so here dotted line is shown here this dotted line is representing that this is the minimum amount of energy or ionization energy level of that atom below this that chemical species exist in the atomic form but beyond this when that chemical species is absorbing sufficient amount of energy from that flame then it is get converted to iron so okay this is the line of difference of energy between atom and iron okay this is done by thermal ionization the second case is that mechanism second the second mechanism is indicating that this is initial thermal collision or initial thermal excitation okay as this is the excitation but this excitation is not done by the absorbing radiation by the laser so that's why this is in the first step of mechanism second it is called initial thermal excitation initial thermal excitation then once the atoms are has been reached to the to this place then laser excitation takes place okay laser excitation takes place so this is initial thermal excitation then thermal this is laser excitation to the higher electronic state okay and after this the ionization has been takes place after this the ionization takes place okay so this ionization is called thermal ionization this ionization is called as thermal ionization okay so this is the, the mechanism second then third mechanism is indicating that here excitation occurs step wise so this is the ground state to first electronic energy state higher electronic energy level and then higher electronic energy first first higher electronic energy level to second higher electronic energy level and then the third type of uh, step here is the thermal ionization okay so what are the uh, steps in mechanism 3 mechanism 3 involves the resonant resonant laser excitation resonant laser excitation then further excitation further excitation and third step is the thermal ionization thermal ionization so these are the three steps involved in the uh, third mechanism okay so that's why it is called as step wise resonant excitation or step wise resonant ionization okay step wise resonant ionization so this is the case third or step third now in the last third last case what is the observation here the the for this line is shown by dotted means again this is the excitation takes place here excitation takes place but not from the uh, laser itself but it is from initial thermal excitation so in mechanism 4 mechanism 4 indicates that the first step is initial thermal excitation initial thermal excitation then from this state there is stepwise non resonant stepwise non resonant excitation the second step here stepwise non resonant excitation why it is called non resonant excitation here the excitation takes place stepwise so the name stepwise but it is this excitation not started from the ground state hence it is called as stepwise non resonant excitation and the third step here the thermal ionization third step is the thermal ionization okay so this is the fourth case okay so again these are the dotted lines which are showing the ionization energy of that atoms below that line the atoms are present and above that line ions are present so ionization of that atoms has been taken place when this much amount of energy has been absorbed by the uh, analyte sample atoms okay so these are the different four mechanisms that are possible for
for the uh, analyzed sample atoms in the laser enhanced ionization spectroscopy then after working let us see which electrodes are used okay so i already told you that the electrodes used here two parallel electrodes are placed across the uh, flame okay and they are positioned in such a way that as soon as the ionization has been taken place they are immediately abs absorbed they are immediately attracted by the oppositely charged electrodes okay so ions cations are attracted towards the cathode and electrons are attracted towards the anode okay and the signal is then generated which is given to the detector detector then amplifier uh, amplifies that signal and gives the signal to the readout device okay so this this is the uh, case for electrodes okay then which type of electrodes generally used here generally tungsten the symbol is w tungsten filament then uh, iridium filament il iridium uh, not filament iridium electrodes tungsten filament uh, tungsten electrodes and nowadays in some instruments stainless steel stainless steel electrodes have been used in the leis spectrometers okay then uh, the lasers so what are the lasers lasers for the use of lasers in leis technique the condition is that that laser must have a characteristic wavelength to the top the atoms of analyzed sample this is the minimum condition means the wavelength or frequency of that laser radiation must be having same frequency or wavelength to that of the atoms of the analyzed sample then and then we can say that resonance can be happen so as the name resonant or resonance so this is the condition for the use of lasers okay and hence as uh, if we use a single laser just like ruby laser it is emitting only a single wavelength radiations so such lasers are not useful here but the tunable lasers tunable lasers in which the wavelength or the frequency of the radiation can be adjusted okay or can be tuned such lasers can be used in the uh, tunable lasers okay such lasers can be used for the uh, uh, in this instrumental part of laser enhanced ionization spectroscopy okay then quantitative analysis of uh, this technique has been done with the help of either standard addition technique or by calibration curve method both the techniques can be used in this leis technique okay again this leis spectroscopy is very useful for the ultra trace analysis this is the advantage just like in ris that is resonant ionization spectroscopy this is the advantage that we can measure the uh, analyzed sample concentration up to very small concentration okay so this is about the uh, all about the laser enhanced ionization spectroscopy okay so in this way we have completed this chapter that is the title is atomic fluorescence spectroscopy okay thanks for watching this video have a nice day